Hey, what's up everybody? I'm landing with LMR.com. In this video, uh, we got a cool part to talk about today. We're gonna be talking about the 1994 to 2004, 2000 Cobra R style fuel tank cover kit, as well as the fuel tank conversion specific for a 2000 Cobra R. So like any other cool parts I talk about on video, there's usually a pretty neat backstory to go along with it. And uh, I'll keep this short and sweet. So the backstory on how the 2000 Cobra R style fuel tank cover came to fruition was that uh, in the LMR collection, we have two 2000 Cobra Rs, which is car number 45, in car number 279. You've seen these cars in videos, whether it be maybe a few parts that we put on them or possibly a dyno. Both those cars, they're driver cars. Yeah, they sit around here from time to time, uh, but we do like to drive them. Well, at the time of the video, those cars are 24 years old. And one of the exclusivities to the 2000 Cobra R was the fuel safe fuel cell. And with it being a factory race car, if you will, that's what Ford outfitted those cars with. Well, over time, the bladder inside of those fuel cells will start to break down. And what you'll end up having to do is take that bladder out, spend a whole bunch of money to put a new bladder in it, and then, you know, keep on keeping on with your 2000 Cobra R. That's great. You know, you want to keep the car, well, most of us, you know, want to keep the car as close to original as possible. Well, where we were at was we didn't want to mess with bladders anymore. So we went to the drawing boards and figured out a way to just run a traditional 98 to 04 style fuel tank, fuel pump, the whole nine yards. And the only missing piece when we went to the drawing board was, well, how are we gonna make it appear like it has a fuel cell? Well, here's the 2000 Cobra R style fuel tank that jokingly, I kind of call the faux cell. Uh, that's just what rolled off the tongue, you know, faux cell, fuel cell. Yeah, y'all get where I'm going with it. But anyways, that's the backstory on it. And as it all kind of unfolded and unraveled, we were like, hey, you're 1994 to 2004 Mustang owner. They're gonna want this kit as well. So that's why we have the two different options. So we'll go through all the kit components here real quick. We'll talk a little bit about the uh, specific kit for the 2000 Cobra Rs. And then we'll uh, jump over here to this white 94 Cobra and show you how all this cool stuff gets installed. So the star of the show, no doubt, is the aluminum fuel tank cover. This is constructed from some heavy gauge aluminum. It has all the correct bins to fit the profile of a factory tank or an aftermarket factory style tank. And the bins closely mimic the fuel cell that was in the 2000 Cobra R. Along with that, it's TIG welded, made here in the USA, and we powder coated it satin black, which was the correct finish on the fuel cell for the 2000 Cobra R. If you're installing this in a 94 to 2004 Mustang, your plastic fuel tank cover weighs about 6.1 pounds. This tips the scale at about 13.8 pounds. So we're talking, you know, just about seven pounds of weight increase, which for those of you that are worried about that, figured I'd give you that knowledge, but you know, if you want the cool looks that this is gonna provide, you know, the weight doesn't necessarily matter. Moving on here, we have a driver and a passenger side fuel tank strap. We touch base on the orientation in the installation video, but once you hold these up to the car, you know right away which is your driver's side and which is your passenger side fuel tank strap. To prevent the metal on metal contact, we provide some adhesive back foam and this goes on the inside of that strap. That way you don't get a whole bunch of rattles and clanks and bangs and, and noises you don't want with metal to metal contact. All right, so moving on here. In the factory setup on the driver's side, the strap swings down and attaches to the rearward point with a hinge dowel. Well, because the strap that we have here is custom to the kit, you're gonna install a nut plate. With the nut plate, you get two speed nuts and two retaining bolts. And then lastly here in the kit to attach the two straps, we're giving you four brand new retaining bolts for those as well. Another cool thing about the straps is that they closely mimic the width of the strap that's on the 2000 Cobra R, which further adds to the accuracy of what we're trying to do with this kit. And like the fuel tank cover, these are powder coated in satin black as well. If you own a 2000 Cobra R, you're gonna get all of the previously mentioned components plus a 99 to 2000 fuel tank, a 300 liter per hour fuel pump, fuel filter, fuel tank pad kit, a filler net grommet, vapor valve seal, and a tank pressure valve seal, which will be everything you need to convert your 2000 Cobra R from the factory fuel safe fuel cell to the traditional non 2000 Cobra R, if you will, fuel tank setup. So other than that, uh, we have some good videos on a lot of this stuff. If you need the know-how, of removing a factory fuel tank uh, from one of these cars and addressing the fuel pump. I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. And then the car we're gonna be working on today is the white 94 Cobra. For those of you that follow us, uh, then pay attention to our dyno videos. We've dynoed this car. Yeah, it's got the 5.8 engine in it. It's got 95 Cobra R wheels. So it kind of looks like a uh, 95 Cobra R. And with that engine, with the wheels, and some of that other stuff, we figured what the heck, this is the perfect car to put the 2000 Cobra R style fuel tank 
cover on because the 95Rs had a fuel cell as well. And with all that cool stuff out of the way, uh, we'll install one of these kits on this 94 white coat. To get started, support the vehicle with a lift or get it as high and as safe as you can if you're working off a jack stand. Dislodge the harness clip at the rear of the fuel tank if equipped with a panel removal tool. Now you'll want to find some areas around the perimeter of the fuel tank that won't interfere with the factory cover and support those areas the best you can. You may have to use thin blocks of wood depending on the overall size of the tool that you're using to support the tank. Once you feel comfortable with how the tank is supported, loosen and remove the 13 millimeter bolts securing the passenger side fuel tank strap to the body of the car. Before removing the frontward bolt on the driver's side, be sure and support the tank cover as it will drop once the bolt is free. Swing the strap out of the way and then carefully maneuver the cover to remove it from the car. To remove the hinge dowel from the driver's side strap, you want to push up on the strap, take a flathead screwdriver, and pry the dowel through the large hole that is facing the passenger side of the car. Once you do that, you can pull the dowel out and remove the strap. Take either one of the provided fuel tank cover straps and wipe the inside with isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber towel. Align the provided adhesive back foam with the strap and begin installing it onto the strap. Whenever you do this, don't stretch the foam. Just let it lay into place and press it down so that it properly adheres to the surface. Once you get to the 90 degree bends, make sure you fully seat the foam into place. Continue installing the foam until you reach the end of the strap just before the final bend. Cut it even with a pair of scissors and then go back over the foam to ensure it's fully seated. You can do the same for the other strap. Now we can install the two provided speed nuts into the body of the car. The nose of the speed nuts will face up. If you notice, the small holes in the nut plate are offset to one side from the center line. The offset holes get positioned toward the rear and the welded nut will face up towards the underside of the car. Hold the nut plate into position and loosely install the two provided M6 bolts. We'll fully tighten these at the end of the install. Leaving them loose will help with installing the fuel tank strap bolt. Before installing the new cover, verify the placement of each strap by holding them in place. The driver's side strap is the smaller of the two. The next few steps is where the help from someone else could be beneficial as they can help hold the tank cover in place. If you don't have help, place something underneath the tank to hold it in place. If you're worried about scratches, cover whatever it is that you're using with a microfiber towel. Position the new tank cover into place and it will only install one way. Take either one of the straps and hold it in place. If the bolt holes in the strap aren't lining up with the J-nuts in the car, you may have to tap on the tank with a dead blow or hammer where the tank makes contact with the strap. You'll see what I'm talking about on your car as all of the tanks are already slightly deformed in these areas. Loosely install one of the provided bolts into either the frontward or rearward location by hand. Install the other bolt and then run them both down but don't fully tighten. Do the same for the other strap. Go ahead and fully tighten all four of the fuel tank strap to body bolts to 26 foot-pounds. Fully tighten the two bolts securing the nut plate to nine foot-pounds. Reattach the harness clip to the tank. These have a pretty snug fit, so you might have to lightly tap it with a dead blow. Remove the supports holding the fuel tank, and if you had to, remove whatever was used to hold the tank cover. Wipe the tank down with some ammonia-free glass cleaner to remove any smears or smudges. After that, you can get the car on the ground and admire your work because you're good to go. All right, people, so wrapping things up here, it's a really cool kit, especially for the 1994 to 2004 Mustang owner and uh, any of you that own one of the 300, 2000 Cobra Rs, and especially if you're wanting to take out the fuel cell, you don't want to hassle with replacing the bladder, just put that thing on the shelf, buy this kit, convert to a normal style tank, and go on with your merry way and enjoy your 2000 Cobra R. As always, if y'all have any questions, drop us a comment. Uh, we'll be sure to answer it as quick as we can. And as always, we hope your LMR experience has been a great one. And if you find value in what we do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And then until uh, we catch you in the next one for all things 1994 to 2004 Mustang, keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.